Last May, I set out on the most ambitious adventure of my life, hiking from Mexico to Canada on the Pacific Crest Trail. I had set a tight deadline for myself of 102 days to complete this hike, the time between two college semesters. In order for this deadline to be doable, I packed as light as possible and tried to avoid towns as much as possible. I preferred to stay on the trail where things were simple. Hike, sleep, eat, repeat. Maybe it was just the adrenaline of my first through hike, but at this point on the trail, nothing could stop me from heading north. The desert had a subtle beauty to it, but by June it was getting quite hot. Everyone was excited to get to Kennedy Meadows, the gateway between the desert and the High Sierra. And the High Sierra did not disappoint. Unfortunately, around mile 800, I began to feel quite weak. I could not eat more than 500 calories a day, and I quickly lost 30 pounds. It was a very tough decision, and I thought it would be the end of my hike, but I exited the trail over Taboose Pass, descending 7,500 feet in 16 miles to Bishop, California. As it turns out, it was a great decision to go into Bishop. I found out I had Jardia, and the antibiotics quickly reversed it. Five days later, I headed back into the beautiful High Sierra. Jardia put me way behind schedule and I had to make up time. After climbing the 14,000 plus foot split mountain, I sped through the High Sierra, reinvigorated and excited to see what was around every turn. Flowers away through the hours of cold. Winter shall howl at the walls, tearing down doors of time. Shelter. i 
gave way to trees as I reached Northern California, but the trail became flatter and I began to hike faster. Maybe, just maybe, I'll come home. After walking hundreds of miles in hot, dry forest, I appreciated how magical Bernie Falls really is. The beauty of the trail is truly greater than the sum of its parts. Unfortunately, the closure between Syed Valley and Ashland and another one north of Ashland. So I skipped 80 miles of the trail. Don't feel good about it, but yeah, now I'm in Oregon. Much of California alone, mostly by choice. But in Oregon, I joined forces with a group of other hikers, and together we accomplished something that I never would have been able to do alone. We're at mile five, the 60 mile challenge, 23 and a half of the 60 mile challenge, 28 and a half miles in. Well, good news, folks, we made it to 40. A little past mile 50. So we did it, folks. 60 miles, 60.5 miles, uh, one day. Yeah, it was tough. <laughs> Northern Oregon, my feet were in a lot of pain, and my body seemed to be slowly falling apart. But as soon as I saw the Bridge of the Gods on the Oregon-Washington border, I knew I could make it to Canada.
the 100, uh, 2580. We got the bad news that uh, the last 60 miles of trail from Rainy Pass onward are closed due to fire. Committed to a uh, Rainy Pass last night. And uh, this is the end of the open trail. Now we're gonna try to hitch into Mazama and try to hitch a ride up into Canada to tag the monument. After over 2,500 miles and 101 days, on August 19th, just two days before I started school, one way or another, I reached my goal, the U.S.-Canadian border. Coat tan and sleeping bags, I come and 